Well, tonight, a South Florida real estate mogul is facing a felony homicide charge two years after a boat crash killed a 17-year-old girl. Prosecutors reevaluated the case after a new witness came forward. Local 10's Terrell Fournay is live in Coconut Grove with the investigation. Terrell. Yeah, this was a deadly collision that happened off of Boca Cheetah Key in September of 2022. All along, the family members of the victims say that they have been angered because they felt enough wasn't being done against the person that they believe was responsible. Well, now they believe that they are one step closer towards justice. More than two years after this boat slammed into a navigational marker on the water, the operator of the vessel, George Pino, has been charged with felony vessel homicide. With the passage of time, more witnesses came forward. Uh, normally, the state's cases don't get better uh, with a lot of time that passes, but in this case, there was, that was the exception. Just fresh out of a court hearing, that's the attorney for the family of the teen who was killed on that tragic day. Lucy Fernandez was one of 14 people on the boat during the impact. The passengers ejected as the vessel overturned. Several others were seriously injured. Come sit down for me, Mr. Pino. The then 52-year-old real estate mogul said he lost control of the boat. And the wheel. I guess when it hit one of the ways, the wheel turned a little bit. I lost a little bit of control, and I think I, I turned. In their report, investigators did not believe alcohol was a factor, despite finding 61 empty alcoholic bottles and cans on board, along with one empty champagne bottle and another half-consumed bottle of liquor. Pino, who was celebrating his teenage daughter's birthday with her and her friends and his wife, declined a voluntary blood draw. I had to be. Pino was originally charged with three second-degree misdemeanors before prosecutors upgraded the charge Thursday. This decision today brings no happiness to the Fernandez family. Lucy uh, is gone at the hands of George Pino, so I think it brings relief. In a statement to Local 10, Pino's defense attorney says, quote, I'm dismayed by the state's surprise decision to file this new charge more than two years later. Officers on the scene of the crash determined Pino was not intoxicated. Pino did not exceed any posted speed limit. This was an accident, not a crime, much less a felony. And Pino did not have to appear in that court hearing that was held via Zoom. If he is convicted on this charge, he faces up to 15 years in prison. We are live in Miami's Coconut Grove neighborhood tonight. I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.